Earlier in the class, we talked about the different types of data that could be stored in the column of a data frame. And one of the types of data that we mentioned were dates. So today's R tip of the day talks about how to deal with dates when it comes to working with data frames. So if you've read in a data set and you're wondering, is, are my date variables coded correctly as dates? There's kind of two easy ways to find out. One is to run the str function, which is remember the structure function on either the entire data frame uh, or just on that column where you say data frame dollar sign column. And it will return with the uh, word date if it's stored correctly as a date. Um, and if it's stored as a character variable, it'll return with uh, a chr to tell you that it's a character variable. Another way to quickly find out whether your date is coded correctly is to just print the data frame in an R notebook. So just type the name of the data frame and then hit control enter or command enter to run the line of code. And you'll actually see below the name of the variable what type of data it is. And if it's a character, you'll see CHR. And if it's a date, you'll see D-A-T-E. Typically, if dates are coded correctly, you'll see them formatted with the year the month and then the date. But even if it's formatted that way, you need to make sure that it's uh, coded correctly as a date by checking the uh, str function on the variable or again, uh, you know, printing out the data frame and taking a look at that uh, column to see if it says date underneath it. It's pretty common that you'll need to convert characters uh, into dates, especially if they haven't been coded correctly. Uh, and so let's take a look at this example data frame called tests and see how we would go about coding this date correctly. So first, as you can see, um, this has two tests in it, an MRI and an X-ray. And there is a column name called test underscore date, which has the actual date in it. And we can see from the parentheses CHR that this has been incorrectly coded as a character variable. R makes it pretty easy to convert uh, character variables into dates. And the recommended package for doing that is the Luberdate package. And if you've got the Luberdate package, uh, you can uh, so library it in. Uh, and then what you'll do is you will run tests, then mutate test date equals MDY test date. The Luberdate package comes with tidyverse. So you don't have to install it, but you do have to library it in separately. What that MDY function does is tell R that you expect the data to be month, date, and year, kind of in that order, which is how we found the data above uh, in that data frame. And so if you run that function, uh, that series of pipes on the test data frame, you'll actually get back the correctly coded test date, which now you can see is formatted properly, which is, has starts with the year, the month, and the date. But also importantly, uh, the type of data is now denoted as a date. As you can imagine, when dates are coded in a column of data frame, there's many different orders they could take on. And the way Luberdate handles this is by having separate functions MDY, DMY, YMD, etc., which let R know which order you expect to find the data in. That's the only thing that you have to do on your end. Uh, and Luberdate will do everything else for you. So for example, if you had the same data frame as in the last slide, except instead of saying 7-22-2016, the data frame uh, said that you know the MRI was performed on July 2nd, 2016, you could actually run the same exact line of code and Luberdate would help you correctly figure out the dates, even though the dates had now been written out in plain English as opposed to kind of just with numbers. And so Luberdate makes the con conversion of uh, characters that have date information into dates quite easy, um, which is really useful. There's a couple of reasons that you definitely want to convert character variables into date variables. The first is that arrange will work correctly when you arrange by date. 
So if you want to know um, what the earliest date was or the latest date was, you're able to arrange on the date variable and the dates will be sorted correctly. You can compare dates using less than, greater than, or equals equals. So if you want to see if two things happen on the same day or on different days, uh, you'll be able to do that correctly uh, as long as the date is coded as a date. Another cool thing is that you'll be able to subtract dates from one another, and when you subtract dates, you'll actually get back the number of days uh, between dates. So this is quite useful if you happen to know what someone's date of birth is in a data set, and you happen to know either today's date or the date on which they were seen uh, for a specific visit. All you have to do is to subtract the dates um, and then divide by 365, and you can get an approximate age uh, for that person.